Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call, 3 p.m. Eastern, August 4th, 2019. We have continuing uh, low frequency uh, desperation uh, to hold on to its control. And it is failing. Remember that the only power that the low frequencies have is to stimulate fear. This is the way they're able to suppress and control the civilization through fear. And obviously the mind will view things and it will dictate to the heart mind and the heart mind will respond with fear. And in our direction at this time on this planet, in this now, we're moving forward. And as we move forward, we're moving into a higher and higher frequency. You will understand as time progresses, as we know uh, the construct of quote unquote time. But as things progress, you will start understanding and identifying if you don't already, that you are moving into an awareness of transition. All of you, I think that you are aware that you have an insight that your God communicates with you. That you know that things are rapidly transcending. They're advancing. In all of the, the frequencies of old, the, the this matrix, this world, are falling away. They're disintegrating. Now, there are many on the planet that really do not know. They are not, they haven't gotten to this stage for themselves of connecting with the God within them. And they are ignorant to what is transpiring, what's happening. This will be difficult for a lot of people. But all of you are the anchors and the architects and the builders for the new world. And your transition will be seamless because of your awareness. Our energy, our direction, is forward in the now. We have no interest in entertaining, uh, energizing, and creating more of the same. Feeding this dying, disintegrating world. And each step of the way, you will awaken more. And you will begin to identify with yourself, with your God, that the majority, just about everything of, and I'll say everything of the new world, has nothing to do with the old world, with the past. Nothing at all. Remember that. There's no similarities. Okay. 
There's nothing that can pull the past to create the future. There's that's severed. There is not any connection there. The world that we are moving into, that we are creating, is one of deep, deep, deep eternal love, deep, deep, deep gratitude. It is flowing love. It is source. And as as we all continue to increase the vibrational frequency, we'll experience more and more enlightenment. We will desire to move more and more in to enlightenment. We will be actually drawn by source higher and higher frequency. You will come into contact with the source flow of all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, more and more. You might just tip it on occasion, but eventually you will become acclimated that this is where you desire to be always, in direct connection with Source, and to be conscious of it, okay? Not happenstance where every now and then you bump into it and everything's wonderful and then it just dissipates and goes away. We are the highest of high frequencies, the God within us. How can we not be in the high frequencies? Our God is the high frequency to connect us to source. You see, it's not something that you have to build. It's not something that you have to create. It's something that you are. You are this love, this peace, this joy. And as you fill the body with this vibrational frequency, it will expand outside of you, of course, but also it will step you up further and further and further until you are in the natural flow of source. This is where you will be able to do many, many things. You will start testing your abilities because at first you will say, uh, how can this be? And then it won't take but a brief moment to understand it is me. It is not something outside of me. It has always been me. I am that I am. I always have been, always will be. So you're experiencing the ending of your stay in the low frequencies of this dank construct. And you're experiencing a lifting. You may at times fight it because you're used to being comfortable in discomfort. So you may, it may be at first a little bit of a tug of war where you don't want to leave your discomfort. Okay? And you're in habit of being in it and being comfortable with it. It will leave you. You are in command. This is something that you must understand. You are the power. And you, you flood the mind with, whenever the mind starts tricking you and bringing in crap thoughts, flood it from the heart mind with deep eternal love. Watch what happens immediately. It doesn't take but a split second to start feeling the effects of it. You flood and saturate all of these cantankerous 
distraught thoughts, and the mind does it to all of us, that it floods in. And you just turn, and you flood it with deep eternal love, you saturate it, and you verbalize it to yourself. You say, mind, I love you. I flood you with deep eternal love. And you say to your ego, ego, I love you. I flood you with deep eternal love. Continuously. Watch what happens. It'll be gone. It'll just disappear. You won't have it. Uneasy feeling. Disturbing feeling. Stressful thoughts that come in. Causing all of this. They dissipate. They disappear. Remember that. You have the power and authority through the heart mind over your mind. You always have. So you do not communicate with the low frequencies. You do not even identify them. You're moving forward, remember. You're not you're not looking over your shoulder, looking over your shoulder. Maybe pick, you know, you're going back, grabbing and pulling forward with you. You are the power. You're the grandness. You're the humbleness. And the interesting thing is that what low frequencies have tried to do is to trick all of us and make us believe that, no, we're none of those things. We're slaves. You know, we're, we're controlled. And understand that is your existence on target? And yes, it is. All is well. Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. Just keep breathing. And imagine if you could breathe just a bit deeper. Just a bit deeper. Just a bit deeper. You might actually get out of your head more often. Being in the now is getting out of your head. Make time to stop identifying with all these thoughts. Who you are is beyond thought. Pay more attention to that. If you want to get out of thought, you are beyond thought. Focus on, on what is real and remember that you are guided by divine forces beyond your rational human understanding of existence. Everything is guided in every moment, even when your mind is freaking out and you're so worried about the future. Something underneath the surface is still guiding you every breath of the way. And you know what that guidance is? It is your God. That's the guidance. It is your God. You're the peace. You're the joy. You're the love. And I'm, I'm here reaffirm that all of us are of the deepest, deepest, deepest eternal love, that we are of the highest and deepest of gratitude, that we are omnipotently powerful, that we are changing this frequency field of this planet now and things are accelerating when things accelerate and the lower energies the destructive frequency tremble in desperation we flood them with deep eternal love we flood them they are saturated endlessly but yet we move forward in today's meditation is 
I always am that I am. I always am that I am. So if you will, go to the place where you are not going to be interrupted, and I'm sure most of you are. And what you want to what you want to do now is to relax and to begin your relaxation of your physical body. You're going to want to move into the now. Move into the now, not the past, not the future, not 10 minutes from now, not an hour from now, not a month from now, not a year from now, but now. And do not go into the past and entertain the experiences and compare and bring them in to create your future. Whatever you have traveled and journeyed before the now is over. It is past. Done. You move forward in the now. And as you move into this now moment, your body relaxes. It is not interfered with tremendous mind chatter, massive influx of thoughts coming and going. It is just the now. You fold into peace. shoulders drop. Your body releases the stress and the tension, the fear, the anxiety that holds you prisoner in low frequencies and creates more, more, and more of the same. So you relax. You're in the now. And now you're going to want to breathe. And you want to breathe through the nose and out through the mouth. Breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth. As you breathe in, you want to hold it. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And exhale through the mouth. And many people want to know, for all those that are new, why do we hold our breath? We hold our breath because it is always in the now. And it moves us to focus on the now. Do you ever feel like you're slipping into the future, slipping into the past? Focus on your breathing. It will put you right back into the now. Remember, your breath is always in the now. It cannot be in the past or in the future. It's always in the now. This focus very simple, and it will keep you in the now by focusing on your breath. You want to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you want to do this at least six times. Okay. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. What is that? That is the high frequencies of the collective consciousness of the universe. It's the high frequencies of your God, of sorts. And the high frequencies are a communication that constantly flow into your God. You're conscious of your communion with your God. You will receive the information relayed by your God that will let you know that you are. You are that you are. I am that I am. You are the God. You are the God mind. You are the deep eternal love. You are the joy. You are the wealth. You are the riches. You are the prosperity. You are the abundance. 
You're the peace. You're the tranquility. You're the benevolence. You're the goodness. This is what we all have inside these bodies. You are the heaven. And it is time for humanity to finally move in the now and embrace I am that I am. I am the God. These are high frequencies. This communication comes in all the time. But now you begin to recognize it. You begin to focus on it in the now. We are the clean atmosphere. We are the clean waters, oceans. We are the clean soil. We are the protectorates of all life. Life, the highest value in the universe. Now when you breathe out, you breathe out doubt. You breathe out low self-esteem. You breathe out lack of confidence. You breathe out cynicism. You breathe out anger. You breathe out frustration. You breathe out disgust. These are all low frequencies that this matrix incessantly tries to bombard you with. Continually try to keep you in the low frequencies of control. You breathe out, they're extinguished. They're vaporized. You breathe out unforgiving of yourself. Because you're in the now. And you are the God. And you are the kingdom of God. We fold into our heart mind. This is effortless. We find ourselves floating effortlessly above the heart, up in the throat area. We are in total peace, joy, benevolence and kindness and tranquility and generosity. You say to yourself, you embrace your God because you merge at this point with your God. Your God says, I am that I am. And you consciously acknowledge it. I am that I am. The frequency accelerates to higher and higher form. And the love that you are expands. The joy that you are expands. And you create the new world, the higher frequencies, the paradise, the bliss, the happiness that you are saturates all that there is around you, all that there ever will be, and all that there ever has been.
you are completely encased in a perfect sphere. The sphere is you, the God, kingdom of God, God mind. These are different energies that are part of you, part of source. They all come from source. The emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael. Eventually, you will be the light of healing for yourself and all life. violet, blue, purple, transcending flame light of Archangel Michael. You are the strength. You are the result. You are the vaporizer of low frequency. white fire of your armor, the protection. The purple transmuting flame, the transmuting power of your God. To transmute any and all things of lower frequency that wish to do harm. violet ray, you are the cleansing light energy. The golden white pink light of prime source creator God, mother, father, God, source, our family. You are the golden white pink light. You are the highest and deepest eternal love. Feel this vibration in your chest going up, saturating your head, beaming through the top of your head, through the crown, chakra. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. This is all of us, the gods, within us. This light is massive. You can see brilliant flames quaffing off of its surface. We surround the equator of this planet Earth. You can see as the entire planet is immediately encased in a golden, shimmering sphere that permeates and saturates Earth's atmosphere, her lands, her oceans, inside and out. vaporizing all low frequencies that wish to do harm, to create turmoil. Everything that is against life is no longer able to hold form. We begin to float up above the planet effortlessly. And as we do so, we are compelled to call upon all of our other parts, all of those of the one, all of our other brothers and sisters, all of the light energy beings in all densities, dimensions, existences, and universes, who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. in generosity 
who are in benevolence, in kindness, in peace, in joy, in humbleness. And they come in the Googleplex. They fill this universe. Arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us and they connect and link throughout all of them, covering this entire universe and beyond. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one and we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon all of the archangels, all of the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels, all the civilizations who have been assisting us for thousands and thousands of years. in kindness, in peace, in joy, and in love. They are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. They are in benevolence, in kindness, in joy, in generosity, in peace, in humbleness. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us. And they are in the highest, deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. And we are in the highest, deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitude. And we are all one. We are all love. Our light expands. We call upon the ascended masters. These are those who have ascended out of body, left the matrix the risk to stay and to assist the civilization. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love and from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in benevolence, in kindness, in generosity, in peace, in joy, in happiness, in bliss, in humbleness. Why yet? Betraya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Nash, Gaia, Dantia, Moria, Ananda Jesus, Saint Germain, just to name a few. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand, and they join us. And they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitude, as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude and we are always in gratitude and we are all one we are all love our light expands we call upon all of the inhabitants of hollow earth inner earth Garka. beneath earth. Who are all of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. Who are in benevolence, in kindness, in joy, in peace, in happiness, in generosity, in humbleness. They come in the billions. They join us hand in hand, arm in arm. And they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes as we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our light expands. We call upon all the galactics and off-worlders, 
all of the civilizations who are only of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in kindness, in peace, in joy, in benevolence, in generosity, in humbleness. And they come, they have been assisting us in our evolution, in our enlightenment, in our ascension, and us freeing ourselves from our self-imposed bondage and slavery. They connect arm in arm, hand in hand. They are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. And we are all one. We are all love. And our light expands. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this life and all lifetimes that we have been inhabiting. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy, in peace, in generosity, in kindness, in humbleness, in tranquility. They come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us. And we are all one, we are all love, and we are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitude for them, for everyone, for all, as they are in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitude. We are all one, we are all love, our light expands. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and in this planet, in this now. Pegasus, unicorn, sprites, fairies, elves, gnomes, dwarfs, Trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, mermaids, dolphins, whales, and many, many, many more. In the trillions they come, of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love, in generosity, in benevolence, in kindness, in joy, in bliss, in humbleness, arm in arm, hand in hand, they are with us. In the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we, in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all love, and our light, expands. We look up and we see our meditative sphere, setting center circle that we have created. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. It can be seen, heard, felt through all dimensions, densities, existences, and universes, all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever, beyond the ribbon of creation. It affects shift into higher frequency. It saturates all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. It literally brings and elevates low frequencies. It creates the higher frequencies of the deepest, 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 highest eternal love. Feel it flood your heads your biological bodies, from head to toe, inside and out. Did you feel it flood the God within you, the kingdom of God? It is tremendously powerful. It will flood you. 
you identify, I am that I am. I am the God. I am the kingdom of God. I am the heaven. I am the peace. I am the joy. I am the bliss. I am the abundance. I am the prosperity. I am the happiness. I am that I am. We look down upon the planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life, all the life, all the source energy in the atmosphere, on the surface, in underneath. And we flood them. They're gods that communicate. They're God's system to awaken them so that they too begin to embrace and understand who and what they are. I am that I am, they begin to say to themselves. I am the kingdom of God. I am the God. I am the heaven. I am the peace. I am the joy. I am the tranquility. I am the healing. I am the power. I am the humbleness. Feel it flood you as it does them. For they are part of us as we them. We are all part of each other. We are all one. Now you begin to understand the accelerated process of this new world that we are creating. It isn't for us. It is of us. I'll join you in the meditation, and I'll return to close this out.
is all part of our attention process. First, we identify who and what we are. We embrace it. We no longer avoid it. We are not separate. No matter what the external authorities try to convey to this civilization, we are not separate. People say, well, we're individuals. You can be an individual as part of the one. We are all one. And we work when we work together. We flow together. The power that we are is beyond recognition. So wherever you are today, whatever you're doing in the now, call upon your God and reintroduce yourself that you are what you are. I am that I am. You are peace. You are bliss. You are the kingdom of God. You are the mind of God. You are God. You are the deep eternal love. And you do all this, and you are always in the deepest, deepest, deepest of gratitudes. Be back here tomorrow, Monday, August 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2019.